Frat Squad, I'm Vanessa Contreras, and today I'm taking you inside the Ecuadorian Arts Festival in Queens, New York. We're here in Flushing Meadows Corona Park, where we're gonna be enjoying the amazing Ecuadorian entertainment, enjoying some delicious Ecuadorian food, and taking a look at some of the artisanal items on display. This festival is keeping the party going from Ecuador's Independence Day, which is August 10th. Of course, we're going to give you VIP access, talking to party goers and vendors, so let's go. Vendors and party goers, all right, Brad Squad, I'm just gonna take advantage that I have Byron for just a second. He's been on the move today making these ICs. Byron, can you tell me a little bit about your family business? My mom started when I was a little kid, probably when I was 10 years old. She started with one car, that one right there. So far we have five. And we have a, our juice stand right there. Okay. And we actually go to every street fair. We also be, we have been attending to Manhattan, Connecticut, White Plains, Westchester. We go all those places with our traditional drinks and we also make traditional Ecuadorian food. And how many different flavors do you have when it comes to ICs? In total, we, I would say we have around 12 to 14 flavors. And then you're topping it, you have a special topping. This is a special um, sweet milk. Yeah, so we have our juice stands, juices, we have also ice creams. We try to do a little bit of everything. But my major goal is to become a chef. Byron's already getting ahead of me. I kind of wanted to ask you, what's your American dream? My American dream, I would say, live with my entire family and grow with a small business as a family as well. You And you guys are doing that. Can you tell me a little bit about your immigration story? You guys coming from Ecuador. Yeah, well, so I came here, yes, when I was 10 years old. We started all the way from the bottom, like I would say collecting bottles from the garbage. That's how we started. Oh, and wow. I'm, I'm a DACA student. I got the visa when I was in school and I still got that, thanks God. And um, like my major thing is just to put a business, open my own business. That's, I think, what everybody's <laughs> looking forward to. Byron, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Thank you so much for sharing with me. And I might have to try one of these ices. Sure. Deja probarlo. Deja probarlo. Deja un ching ching nada más. Yeah, you go. Thank you, Byron. I get it. This is, this is where it's at. Ecuadorian ices. Okay, Brad Squad, so I have bumped into some gentlemen here that are having an awesome time. This is Adrian and his son, Rico. Adrian, you're telling me that you guys came all the way from Washington, D.C. for this. Yeah, we came all the way from D.C., Silver Spring, Maryland, just to come and uh, enjoy the festival. I bring my kids. They've never been to an event like this, man, so I wanted them to, you know, see the roots, the people. So you guys have been enjoying your day so far. Have you tried some of the food? That's next. We're about to hit that uh, Ornadito, man, the Ecuadorian uh, food. Yeah, we haven't had it yet, but we're about to. And what has been your favorite part of the festival so far, Adrian? You know, the environment, the people, the love, man, you know, the music. You know, you don't hear this type of music every day, not in D.C. In D.C., there's not a lot of Ecuadorians. My kids never had the pleasure of going to Ecuador, so by being here, you know, feel the, the music, the people, man, you know, la, la sangre de ellos, man. This is their bloodline. That's what I told them, man. You're here with, uh, with your people, man. Basically, we can't make it to Ecuador. We're going to make it to Queens, man. <laughs> Flushing. Para el evento, man. You know what I mean? Perfect. And Adrian, can you share with me a little bit of your family's immigration story? My uh, mother and father, you know, they migrated from Ecuador back in the early 70s. And then, you know, they had the, the pleasure of having me here, man. So, you know, then I have my kids here. This is the country of the opportunities, man. You know what I mean? Everybody works hard in any country, but over here you have that opportunity to make things happen. And I have one last question for you. What do you consider to be your American dream? The American dream for me is, uh, you know, um, having freedom. My son is in the Coast Guard. He, he fights for all of our freedoms, man. You know, uh, you come here, you work, you got to learn the language, man. You know, that's what I tell everybody. Man. I don't care where you come from. Learn the language at least, man. And, you know, follow your dreams and you can make it happen, you know? Adrian, thank you so much for sharing with us. We'll see you in a bit, Brad Squad. Hey, Brad Squad, I am here with Maria Shakari, who is one of the performers today, and she will be performing some traditional indigenous Ecuadorian music. Kambunin mania puhusan, ya make bisha nambuyahe, ya hanungan nambuiteta, nunga sururi kwinyawe. 
So she just gave us a little behind the scenes of one of the songs that she will be performing today. Bueno, yo creo que eh, somos muy pocos conocidos, por eso vengo también promocionar. Me gustaría que la gente que nos conozcan, que nos respeten y que nos ayude a proteger lo que es la naturaleza, la selva. So Maria shares with us that one thing she would like for everyone in the community to know and reason why she's come to represent her Amazonian tribe is because they aren't very well known and she's here to share their culture. She would want people to know to help her keep the Amazon alive and that it's part of such an important part of what Ecuador truly means. Gracias Maria. Okay teams, this is Angie who is Ecuadorian and she's here with her squad having a great time. So Angie, how are you enjoying the festival so far? So far it's been a really great experience. This is actually my first time here with my family. Uh, they're actually of Ecuadorian descent. I'm, I'm the first um, member of my family to be born here in America. It's just really great. Have you tried any of the food? I haven't tried any of the food yet because I just got here, but I'm really excited to try the corn on the cob. There's like a huge line to go get it. I just want to go get that. Um, okay, so we're going to have to get on the corn on the cob line after this. Yes. Angie, can you just tell me a little bit about your family's immigration story to the U.S.? Well, basically it all starts with my grandpa. He was the one who initiated the start to move to the United States. Him and my grandmother had 12 kids. They brought them here to the States. The economic standpoint at that time wasn't a good one. They struggled to get to where they are today, but thanks to God and everything, like everything went well, and I was able to be born here along with my other cousin who was also born in America. So it's honestly been a great journey, thanks to him, thanks to my grandpa. Excellent, so you owe it to your ancestry for who you are today and having the opportunities to have today. That's a great story and that's what we're all about here on The Brad Show. With that being said, could you just share with me what's your American dream? My American dream, honestly, is for everybody to come together as a family because we're all human beings. We're all the same race no matter where you come from. We're all human beings at the end of the day trying to provide better for ourselves and our family. And I honestly think that's what the American dream is, being together and as a community and loving each other because I feel like there's like so much division in this country and it's so much hatred when it's not supposed to be like that. Like we're all here. We're all here for the same thing. We want our families to prosper and I feel like we could do that together. Amazing. Thank you so much much for sharing that Angie so after that let's get in line for the corner of the cob and enjoy the rest of the festival okay Brad squad so that's a wrap for today at the Ecuadorian Arts Festival we got to experience some great Ecuadorian food I got to meet some great new friends the music is still going in the back which we will be enjoying for the rest of today and I hope you guys had a great time today we'll see you next time Brad squad Thanks for watching. For more Brad Show Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.